What's going on guys? Uh, we're going to be showing my original Xbox collection now. Uh, 116 games. 95% um, of these are actually my wife's, but let's get started. We got Call of Duty 3, you know, old school Call of Duty's. Not for everyone. This one I haven't played yet. I can't give my own thoughts on it, but whatever. Banger. Conquer, live and reloaded. The remake of Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh, love it. Fucking amazing. Got this for a steal, too, on Kijiji, which is like Craigslist, if you're in America, is Kijiji here. Uh, Crimson Skies, classic. Um, I remember when my brother first got his Xbox, and this was one of the first games he got. Um, it's pretty much like a plain dog fighting game. It's not pretty much, that's what it is. Uh, when I first played it, I actually didn't like it. Going back to it now, not bad. 187 Ride or Die. I believe this is a racing game. Yeah, yeah, like combat racing. Uh, I played a bit of this way back. Don't really remember much. Don't know. Uh, Dark Angel. This was a TV show. That's about all I know about it. <laughs> have not played this. There's there's quite a few that I haven't played. Uh, my Xbox is uh, like buried away in the totes and stuff. Uh, so unless they work on 360, which I don't, I think this one might. Um, I haven't played it yet. Dead to Rights, uh, Platinum Hits, a little beat up on the cover and whatnot, but this was probably, yeah, like $3, who who cares at that price. Uh, classic game, classic Namco 2, they're not even Namco Bandai and Namco, they're just Namco. Enter the Matrix, I have not played this, which is very surprising because I love the movies, and the game doesn't look horrible, but when you look at reviews, I don't think it did too well. Aragon. Good action game, like action adventure game. My daughter's actually named after the dragon Sephira, but we uh, spell it different. And uh, yeah, I didn't get too far into this. Loved the movie. Um, and yeah, not not a bad game either. Fantastic Four. Keep watching the channel. I'm going to be doing some superhero games very, very soon. Uh, clearly, we paid $5. I don't think we even paid that. I think I paid a couple of dollars, and it came with like X Men Legends disc only as well. <laughs> If I remember correctly, I think it's X-Men Legends. Halo. You gotta have Halo. You can't have an Xbox collection and not have fucking Halo. <laughs> the The worst part is I gotta put these all back in alphabetical back on our shelf. Okay. Legacy of Cain. I don't know if I played this specific one, but these are great, like, hack and slash action games. Uh, like, kind of in the style of Devil May Cry, but not really. Uh, I know they're hard. I don't know if I played this one specifically. Five bucks back in the day. Uh, that's the price I like to pay for games, bro. Five and under. Uh, this is actually one my wife's had for... God, since I've known her. <laughs> like Madagascar, again. I'm going to be doing movie games as well. Um, <laughs> how, how, how horrible could it be? I mean, it's definitely a kid's game. Um, but, you know. Whatever. Mercenaries. I played the shit out of this game on PS2. Uh, most of the environment is destructible, if I remember correctly. I might be thinking Mercs too. Um, you could join, like, one of six factions and whatnot. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as amazing as, like, the trailers made it out to be. Metal Gear Solid 2, Substance. Never played this version of the game. I have played the PS2 version, which I believe this has, like, stuff that was released in Japan only until this release, Substance. Um, I could be wrong on that. It might ha even have a multiplayer. That would be fucking gnarly. No. One player. Uh, yeah, see, it says it all there. Through five new tales involving Solid Snake, which unlock new playable characters. Cool. Yeah. Definitely cool. I got that with the Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Bro, the games ended up being like four bucks a piece off of Kijiji. Prince of Persia. These games are excellent. Wish they'd bring one back. Um, Two Thrones, I don't know if I remember this one specifically. They're all roughly the same. Picture Assassin's Creed with, like, more action and less stealth. I guess, like, the newer ones. Project Gotham Racing 2. Racing, what can I say? Rally Sport Challenge 2. <laughs> Without warning. Now, here's one I haven't played and I don't know much about. Looks like a, like a SWAT, SWAT type of game. Whatever. They, they Sometimes they're good. Whacked. Uh, I want to say this is a platformer. 
Yeah, it looks looks like a you know a Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot type of game. Uh, all right, I guess we'll just pull this stack over. <clears throat> Let me get this stack out of the way. This is the problem with so many fucking games. <laughs> We've got Zapper, uh, another like Crash Bandicoot type of game. This one's not horrible. I have played a bit of this. These I love. Time Splitters, Future Perfect. I believe this is the third one, and I believe this is the one that I played the most. Whichever one you can create your levels. I don't. Maybe that's all of them. But I we played the shit out of this. Me and my wife. This one too. Time Splitters too. She does not have the first one. We need to find that. Just to have all three. Uh, Torque. Have not played this. Probably a platformer if I had to guess. Like an adventure platformer. Whatever. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Another cutesy, furry fucking platformer. Ultra Busta Move. Um, you know, you shoot the balls together. I bought her this. Like, I don't know. 11 years ago when we first got together. She only had an Xbox, and I was like, oh, lame. I was, like, rocking the PS3 and shit. <laughs> but I bought her this game. I paid more. Th no, I, I probably paid that. I probably paid that. Two for 15, and I probably got myself something <laughs> on the two for 15. I believe I bought her this one, too, The Herbs. It's The Sims. Honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. It was cool because it was, like, the first time you, like, got to go to work with your Sim, really, on console anyways. Um, I don't know. I just... It wasn't the same. Like, it just wasn't the same. Thrillville. I love uh, Sim Theme Park on PS1. Not quite a... This isn't quite as good as that, in my opinion. Sim, Sim Theme Park's better. Uh, but this game isn't bad. Uh, this does work on my 360. I did play this recently. Um, I think I have the footage captured still. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look. Uh, but yeah, no, it's not a bad game. Lucas Arts, which I did not know made that. Pretty cool. Attack and the Power of Juju or some shit like that. They made a TV show of this. I know that. I'm pretty sure it started as a game, though. Platformer by the looks of it. Haven't played it. The Haunted Mansion. I know nothing about this game. Oh, it looks like an adventure. Maybe adventure platformer. I don't know. All right. Disney games are all right. Banger. Simpsons Road Rage. I wish this was hit and run because I do like it better. This needs a wipe down, too, this case. Uh, for sure. Holy fuck, it's so heavy. What? That's a fatty manual, yo. Or is it two manuals? It might have English and French manuals. That might be why. They do that here in Canada from time to time. Now it won't close. Give me a sec, guys. Alright, we got that closed. Next up, The Sims, the classic. This also needs a wipe down. Something must have spilled on the shelf. I don't like that. Uh, the Suffering, The Ties That Bind. I believe this is the second one. I played the first one, liked it, got pretty far on PS2. And then just, I played other stuff and never got around to it. Two for 40, whoa, somebody got fucking screwed there. Shrek 2. <laughs> Spawn Armageddon, another one I played on PlayStation originally. Love this fucking game. Would love to see a sequel or even a remaster. Another Namco. If you're listening to Namco, I doubt it. Hold on, let me... Get this to focus. Focus, Daniel Sun. There we go. Another Namco game. I do love Namco. And it's out of focus again. Spider-Man 2. Everybody and their grandmother has played this game by this point. Um, I, I I did not like... Well, yeah, I liked Spider-Man 2, the movie. Didn't really like the game. Now you gotta like go and deliver the pizzas. and It's whatever. Starts against Hutch. I have not played this. I assume it's... I don't know. Oh yeah, it's like an action racing game. Clone Wars and Tetris. Everybody's played that. I don't need to explain it. NFL Street. How to fuck to waste time running off the wall playing football. Love this game. Sudeki. Um, I believe this is an action game. Yes, I have played this. A bit of this. Not horrible. I couldn't get into it again. I don't know if this works in the 360. I haven't played most of these because even the 360 is kind of hard to get at at the moment. Now I gotta move these stacks and I will be right. All right, we're back with Raises Hell. I. Another game I know nothing about. Why is my camera fucking so out of whack? There we go. At least you guys can kind of see it. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. 
anything about this, to be honest with you. Trying to not get the light all up in here. Oh, classic. Scarface, the world is yours. Another one, again, I had PS2 in this era. Uh, eventually, we got an Xbox, but it was already, like, at the end of its life. And This game, though, love it. Wish the movie would have ended this way. Focus, you piece of shit. Uh, let me zoom in, and then out, and it should focus. No, it's not going to focus. It's going to be a bird. Anyways, Scarface. <laughs> Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure. <laughs> I know nothing about that. That's funny. Shark Tale. I prefer the Finding Nemo game over this, to be honest. Um, I even prefer the movie over this, to be honest. Um, not a bad little game, though. It's how to explain it. I don't know. Adventure platform kids fish game. Shenmue 2. Believe it or not, I have not played this the entire time we have owned this. Um, I have seen gameplay of it. It kind of reminds me of, like, Yakuza meets, like, an RPG, kind of. I don't know, offhand, to be honest. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. Um, you know, it's Oddworld. These games do pretty well, usually. I think I have another Oddworld here, too, coming up. Outrun 2. It's not the expensive version. There's an expensive version of this on the Xbox. This is not it, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Move those over. Pariah. Uh, never even heard of this fucking game till now. Didn't even know I owned it. So, that tells you that. Let's see if we can get this to fucking focus, man. Why are you so out of focus today? There we go. Christ. Can we back up and stay in focus? Back up just a bit. There you go. No, shit. Cock. There you go. Create unlimited back battlegrounds. This this game doesn't look bad. It looks kind of like strategy FPS. I don't. I might have to fucking play that. I'm gonna look up if that works in the 360. Uh, King Kong hated the movie. Not gonna lie. This this King Kong anyways hated the movie. Um, I assume the game's an action game. Oh cool. You get to play as Kong. Oh play as man. Play as Kong. Cool. Uh, Platinum hits Project Gotham Racing. And it's not even in there. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's one of those ones that's got a thing on each side. I was like, what the hell? Most of them are in their cases. There's a few that aren't. Uh, Nightcaster 2. I have not played this. Zoom in. And zoom out. Huh. Looks interesting. Not much to say about it, but it looks interesting. NHL, not even going to talk about it. It's fucking hockey. Uh, this is one of my wife's favorite movies. I have not played this game. I'm sure she has. I wish she was here. She could uh, tell you more about it. But it's probably, if I had to guess, like an action-adventure game with the characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It, it looks all right. It, it does definitely look all right. Cool. Uh, Lord of the Rings Two Towers uh, action game. Good, not my favorite Lord of the Rings game. We do have my favorite. We'll get to it when it comes. It's probably a lot of people's favorite. Ultimate Alliance. When this came out, I was still renting games at a corner store. Or maybe it was Blockbuster. It might have been Blockbuster. I think it was a corner store, though. And I rented this over and over till I unlocked every skin for every character. And like, it, it was a good game. But I, I just feel like it hasn't aged well. I haven't tried to play it in a while, but... Would have been cool to play online. It says, like, online cooperative. That would have been so cool. I didn't have the online, eh? Uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2, I believe this is good. Yeah, this is the one with the Mortal Kombats. Uh, this is the best one, in my opinion. Uh, you got Narc, Primal Rage, you know, Gauntlet, Rampage. Cool. What can I say? It's a compilation of arcade games. Speaking of Narc, we have Narc. <laughs> but not that Narc. This is more like Grand Theft Auto. I kind of... Remember playing this? It's more like uh, true crime, but like you could you could like snort the drugs and everything in it. I, I kind of kind of remember the concept of that. New Legends. I know nothing about this. Probably an action game. Let's see if we can get it to load here. Blockbuster video. Fuck that's old. 
Kingdom Under Fire Heroes. Um, I believe this is like, a, what do you call it? Like a Dyna Dynasty Warriors. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't played that. LA Rush. This is actually, I really enjoyed this. I played this on PS2 as well. Again, most of the games that I have played that are multi-platform, uh, I more than likely played them on PS2 then. Just because that was my platform. Alright, next deck. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. We're going to try and go a little faster here. You know, action game. Uh, just because we still got a lot of games to go through and we're hitting 15 minutes. Uh, Hunter, The Reckoning, Redeemer. I believe we have another Hunter game as well. I don't know what these are about. I'm not going to pretend like I do. Looks like an action game if I just had to guess. Oh, uh, this, this is a sick one. Jade Empire, I like that case. Any any shiny cases like that? Special edition, I believe, or what's it called? Limited edition, yeah. Excellent game. Everybody that owns an Xbox, pick this game up. It doesn't have to be this version. Pick this game up. Excellent action game. Almost beat it. I don't think I did. Far Cry Instincts. Um, I had no idea what Far Cry was until Far Cry 2 with the malaria. Fucking hated Far Cry 2. 3 and 4 were good. I haven't played any, any others. I tried to get into this. I, I just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Best fish game on the... Uh, <laughs> Gauntlet. The Seven Sorrows. I remember my brother had this one too on Xbox. Um, and it, it's, it's Gauntlet, but it's like more three-dimensional. I wish this fucking camera wasn't such a piece of shit. Um, it's more three-dimensional and like... More character development. It, it wasn't bad. I just remember kind of not liking it. This was a hidden gem for me anyways. Um, this was another one that we got on PS2. And at the time, I was doing fucking graffiti like a dummy. Don't be writing on people's walls, yo. They kick your ass for that shit. And, it, and if you do, make art, not garbage. Uh, anyways, I was a huge Echo fan. Fucking brought this game home from uh, EB Games for like 15 bucks blowing away excellent like graffiti beat em up i guess kind of beat em up uh grabbed by the ghoulies i watched the wife play this it's like an action platformer i have not played it fable short and sweet i i enjoyed this game i know it's divided a lot of people like it a lot of people hate it especially the first one i enjoyed it uh, it wasn't the greatest thing ever, like it claimed that it was going to be the greatest RPG of all time, but it wasn't bad. Fallout, Brotherhood of Steel, huge Fallout fan, have never played this, to this day, have never played this. Looks interesting though, if it would just focus for you guys to see, would be nice. I'm trying to like block the light, because I think that's what's making it not focus. Could also be how fast like I'm moving the games in and out. Dead Man's Hand, uh, this is a shooter. Uh, the wife was playing this. It was actually interesting. Like, I, I, I was enjoying the story and everything. It's like an Old West shooter. Uh, definitely, if you guys find this one cheap, pick pick this up. It's not not by any means going to fucking, like, you know, revolutionize the first-person shooters. Or Western shooters, even. Come on. Like, come on. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with this camera being a bitch. Uh, Demon Stone, I believe that, yeah, Forgotten Realms, so it's like D&D-ish. Um, I didn't play a lot of this. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. Banger, Dino Crisis 3. Unfortunately, I need to get the disc resurfaced. I have never gotten to play this. I have looked up gameplay. The easiest way I could explain it is Dino Crisis in Space, which I have mixed feelings about. I don't know until I play it if I'm going to like this or not. <laughs> I do love dinosaurs. And the first two Dino Crisis bangers, bro. Uh, Drake of the 99 Dragons, if it loads, would be nice. Focus. Dinosaur. Two, three, four. No, it's not going to load. Anyways, uh, not, not bad. It's like an action platformer. Uh, Enclave, I know nothing about it. It's in a blockbuster case. Morrowind. How... You want to waste, like, 100 hours of your life? Get into this fucking game. Great game. I suggest Game of the Year, but if you have the normal edition, just as good. Um, this is where, like, my love for Skyrim started. I had never heard of the Elder Scrolls beforehand. Again, I was a poor kid. I didn't have a PC. Never heard of it beforehand. 
Uh, my brother showed me this. Amazing game. Cannot have an Xbox collection without this game. This is this is a must buy. Day one. You buy you buy an OG Xbox or even a 360. This will work in three. I believe this will even work in an X1. Don't quote me on that. But this is a day one buy <laughs> with your Xbox. Uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. Mario Kart with Crash characters. Easiest explanation. Crash Twin Sanity. Uh, this is. After what I call the glory days of Crash, which is PS1. But it's not a horrible game. Um, I remember, I don't know, doing a small play of this. I don't know. I, I check the games out from time to time, but there's so fucking many. CSI, don't know nothing about it. My, my wife's a fan of the show, I don't know. Curious George, I assume it's going to be like a platform. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Dance Dance Revolution, self-explanatory. All right, let me get another stack, guys. All right, there's only two stacks left. We got, I believe it's True Crime New York. Yes. Uh, it's disc only. I'm probably going to just add, add it to the spindle. I have a spindle full of disc only games. Uh, another hockey. It's, it's hockey. NFL Fever. Now, I believe this was Microsoft's, like, attempt at taking on Madden, you know? These games were, weren't actually bad. There was also, like, NHL Hits or something like that it was called. Uh, they weren't horrible, but, I mean, it's a sports game. We can move on. Shit, I just knocked the stack over. IndyCar Racing, like F1 Racing. Not horrible. Not not spectacular. Uh, Dead or Alive 2. In my opinion, the best of the trilogy. Of, that's on xbox i like three as well one is very 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 dated um yeah advent rising i have never heard of this I, it's just she has so many games so when i see a game for like 3.99 that she doesn't have i'll pick it up i don't think she's even played that yet uh basketball nba street now these are sports games you gotta pick up are the street fifa any of them. Any of the street games, they're all good. Uh, Dead or Alive 1, like I said, it's mass it's dated. Uh, this is in the vein of Dynasty Warriors, but your Samurais. They're not horrible. Haven't played that specific one. NBA Street 2. I like I like both 2 and 3, but uh, yeah. This came in that pile with Conquerors and Metal Gear. It was whatever. Tiger Woods. Must own... On the Xbox. Knights 2 or... Knights 1 or 2. However, in my opinion, the story on 2 is way better than the story in 1. But they're both good. Um, I, I like 1 better because I'm a Darth Revan fan. So that's the one positive I'll give it. Whereas, like, Darth Sion and Nilus and... I'm not going to spoil it. But if you've never played it, definitely pick this up. This is probably compatible with the X1. I would fucking assume so this was one of the most popular xbox games this came in that same pile with conquer as well as this and they were like three bucks a piece splinter cell this was uh the answer to metal gear that wasn't the answer to metal gear <laughs> uh the second odd world well i don't know which one came first but this is the second one in the stack haven't played this one specifically uh sphinx I have played a bit of this, and I remember there being a thing where if you go through a certain door, or you don't go through a certain door, I can't remember, you're fucked. You can't progress any further <laughs> because of whatever reason the door is closed, and you can't go back or you can't go forward, and you're just stuck. I picked it up because the wife didn't have it. I don't like that it's in, like, a rental case, but green cases are easy to find. At least it has the artwork and shit. I don't think it's printed. Black Hawk Down, you know, War Shooter. All right, we're on the home stretch. Last stack. All right, I said you'll see my favorite Lord of the Rings game. This reminded me so much, especially at the time it came out, of Final Fantasy X. I love Final Fantasy X, the way you could switch the characters out. Just ev everything just reminded me of Final Fantasy X, just set in the Lord of the Rings world, which you can't beat that. The only thing is, is it was like licensed to the movies, so there's only like 20 or 25 different bad guy types because they weren't like they weren't allowed to use other bad guys so it got kind of repetitive awesome fucking game though i, I do suggest that if you're a fan of uh jrpgs 
Ice Age, you know, platformer, more than likely. I haven't played this specific one. Just like to pick up movie games, superhero games. Karaoke Revolution. Uh, my wife does actually have the microphone. She has played this. Not much to say. Picture DDR, but you sing the songs instead of dance. GTA 3. There's nothing that needs to be said. It's GTA. Vice City, same thing. I could not believe the value on this game. I don't know if it's still up above $100, but when I looked this up in 2020, I was like, holy shit, it was like a $100 game. I shit you not, it was crazy. I haven't played this specific Harry Potter games. They're not bad, though. Usually, usually. Don't don't quote me on that. Yeah. See, here's that other Hunter game, The Reckoning. We got Avatar The Last Airbender. She's a huge anime fan. This, I believe, is like... Yeah, an action, you probably level up and shit. This this game could probably be cool. 007, what's there to say about it? <laughs> this is probably good. Haven't played that specific one. Series of Unfortunate Events. I don't know if I played this game. I don't think I played this game. <laughs> Aeon Flux. Seen the movie? Don't know if I played the game. Definitely an action game. I don't even need to look. Aquaman. Not the DC Aquaman to my knowledge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's the DC shield. Okay, it is. We'll definitely be giving this a play on the channel then for sure at some point. Love superhero games. Uh, the Bard's Tale. I remember reading, like, Electronic Gaming Monthly in, like, the Xbox era just because they were most readily available. I do have a couple from, like, the PS1, N64 era. <laughs> but, uh... This game always intrigued me. It's an action game. Uh, like hack and slash action game. Didn't look horrible. Never played it. Blinks. Uh, I watched the wife play a bit of this. Platformer. Action. Adventure type. Oh god. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Action beat em up game. Great game. Just the part my wife stuck on. Fucking impossible. Fucking impossible. We're, we're not going to get into that though. Another DC branded game. We'll play. Another like Disney DreamWorks game. I pick these up all the time. Disney DreamWorks games. This one's Disney in this case. First off, I have a young daughter. She likes these type of games. And second off, I just think it'll be awesome to do uh, some videos on Cold Fear. I don't know anything about this, but it looks interesting. There's writing all over it though. I don't know if you guys can even see it because of the writing. And last but not least, another Crash Kart game. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you stuck the whole half an hour out, solid. Give me a thumbs up. You know, subscribe maybe. Always doing collection videos. Working on getting some gameplay out there. I know the channel's been slow. My computer died, and then fucking my capture card died. And oh, it's just been a headache. Yeah, school just started with my daughter. So, well, not like she's grade three, but like, I mean, the year just started. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.